Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Yes, I am back with another sort of challenge video, right? So if you haven't seen the previous one, I've done a one team versus all six Path of Growth dungeons on hard mode level 2. That was sort of a success, I guess. Uh, I mean, the first fight weren't too much trouble. This one was very low rain rate, but I did do it with a single team. Uh, all I changed was uh, the summoner element. For now, uh, I did a different sort of challenge. So uh, this time I tried to do the hero area mini bosses. So they were the move from here, but basically I'm talking about these ones, like the weekly ones that you hunt from the quest. There are a total of 16 and uh, my challenge was to clear basically all 16 of them on solo of course, no teammate help allowed. Uh, and the goal was to do it with a single team and I, on top of that I sort of made myself a challenge to uh, first of all not switch my summoner element as well. And on top of that, I decided to do a free-to-play team, so no unobtainable net fives, anything like that. And yeah, I did it. I managed to do it. Uh, this was the setup that I had, so Water Cliff. Uh, the second skill was a different one. It was the... Why can't we change it? It was this one, because it was recently buffed, and the reason for Water Cleave is he sort of allows you not only to debuff the enemies but also offensively set them up. So this skill will lower attack, this skill will lower attack as well. Uh, on top of that, this has a chance to lower attack speed. So these two basically debuff the enemy a lot. On top of that, this skill recently received a defense break. So not only does it debuff, it also allows me to set it up offensively because he was the only defense breaker on my team and here's the team they currently don't have runes but you will see the runes at the end of the video where i leave a time lapse of all of the runs uh, pretty much how the team works so av was like a secondary debuffer plus uh, my main healer so uh, i had her on a high accuracy build pretty tanky uh, her main goal was with this skill to debuff a lot basically this compare not compared but together with water cleave pretty much allows me to avoid all of the damage unless it's like hp scaling or something like that uh, this skill first of all main healing so you heal from here and you also heal from the passive sometimes uh, it also buffs defense so it actually helped with cleaves damage because some of her skills uh, with defense. Uh, for the second unit I did Mav. Uh, he was soulinged and I spammed this skill pretty much. I didn't need him to tank so this wasn't important. I was the frontline sort of like tank and I soaked up most of the damage so for him I mostly needed to remove the dots sometimes and the skill acceleration which allowed uh, AV to heal more and debuff more and Celia to hit as well. And for the third target, I sort of wanted a DPS unit, but also something that would help me like survive. So I chose Celia, uh, first of all, because she's light element, so she will never be uh, like weak to anyone. Like she will be weak to dark, but she is also strong against dark. So she doesn't have like only a weak element, right? And to all the other three, she is pretty much neutral. So. That was like an obvious choice, I was gonna go light or dark regardless. And yeah, for her skills, I mostly needed her for this. Uh, so damage taken up allows me to do way more damage than any uh, other unit that I may have used. And the heal block actually helped a lot in the wind one. So because I think all three of the wind bosses heal in a way or another. So uh, Spamming the skill with Mav's acceleration like every 12 or 13 seconds helped a lot. And I mean, whenever uh, there were some random targets next to the boss, uh, the passive actually activated, so it also healed me. It gave me more damage, gave me mana regen, it gave me regen up. So it just helped overall, especially for bosses like Yeti, for bosses like the whole first continent where there are a lot of random units running around. 
So yeah, as you can see, the team is working pretty decently. The only reason why I was able to do this is pretty much because the mini bosses were nerfed quite significantly ever since they uh, turned from a 3 hour timer to a 5 minute timer. Uh, I noticed their HP dropped a lot, like look at that. Uh, Cleef is my only damage dealer and he is also on a full tank build. He is not on a damage build and you're just wiping those stages. So. Not all of them were this easy. I noticed that, I don't know if this is the case, but I think some in the bosses lost way more HP than others. Like for this boss, for example, his HP definitely dropped like three or four times at minimum. Whereas others, uh, stuff like the Lich or the other like mini boss in this continent didn't get nerfed that much, I think. But yeah, uh, overall they definitely got way weaker. And uh, with that, I was sort of able to complete this challenge because uh, trust me, I would not have been able to complete it with the previous version of Elite Mini Bosses. And yeah, just pretty much uh, finishing up with the first mini boss. As you can see, that one wasn't too much trouble. It's a shame that Elite Mini Bosses pretty much don't drop anything anymore. Uh, the drops got nerfed a lot. I mean, previously you could get like a tough ladder and sometimes. Uh, a rune if you got lucky now you get like 100 gold and 20 rune pieces or something so yeah those are not worth farming anymore apart from weekly quests but yeah apart from that i'm gonna leave a sped up version of all of the mini bosses if you're interested to see i mean really is just an order battle against each boss so the video will be probably a bit lengthy from this point but yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I will try to think of more of these uh, fun challenges to do for a few next videos. Uh, I mean, I'm really limited with options and what I can do, especially PvE wise, because I tried something like soloing grades, but I was only able to do first two of them. So that one's probably not coming out. But yeah, I'll see what I can think of. And yeah, if you're interested in checking the rest of the runs are uh, keep watching and yeah